So tell me why I broke down yesterday, though. So, you know, I got this load. I go get loaded, go to the house two days and shit. I think I left, like, around midnight. I get up to the shipper. Now, I'm knowing I've been having, you know, starter problems. So lately, I've been like, well, shit, I ain't going to turn the truck off when I'm getting loaded or unloaded. You know what I'm saying? If they say something. I just go uh, leave the truck running, go wait in the weight room or whatever. So I'm unloading, but, uh, you know, they want, at that particular place, they do all the work. I just stay in the truck. Cool. So I know not to shut it off. So, uh, you know, it was like seven hours of Dallas. So I'm already got to take my 10 hour break before I head back to the house. So, uh, shit, they had took like four or five hours to unload me because it was a truck ahead of me. But it, it only take 30 minutes to unload, but it was a truck ahead of me. And, uh, you know, that took a while, too. So, uh, because it was already four hours off my clock on the sleeper berth, I was like, well, shoot, can I just uh, stay here? They was like, yeah, go on the other side of the building. Cool. So, I go on the other side of the building. And, you know, with me, I'm always checking my fluids and my trust. So, I said, well, I ain't sleeping, man. Let me get out and uh, do some inspection work, you know, shit like that. So, uh, you know, I turned the truck off, popped the hood, checked the floors, everything looking good. You know, I'm looking for the cooler leak. I'm trying to see what's going on under now. And, uh, shoot, I ain't, you know, I ain't seen nothing. I get back in the truck, got ready to start it. And, man, I turned the key, hit the start button, and it didn't have no power. No power whatsoever. I said, damn, man, what the hell? Don't tell me the starter went out on me right now. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because I wouldn't, you know, I was in a good place. You know, anytime I turn my truck off, I got to be in a place to where I ain't, you know, impeding traffic or anything like that. Like, in this place, I was I was basically just, uh, I was, uh, <laughs> you know, in a parking space, basically. So, I get out. I check everything. Or so, I thought. But, you know, I'm checking everything. I'm checking the start. I'm like, man, is something coming loose? You know, I uh, go check the batteries. And I'm like, man, maybe my alternator was, you know, maybe the alternator went out because it wasn't charged all the way. I said, man, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call, uh, man, who the fuck calling me, man? I'm trying to tell a story. Yeah, my bad. That was my, uh, that was my, uh, AC repair guy, man. My AC went out in the house. So, uh, you know, I don't want to come home to no hot ass house. So I went on call, you know, down here in Memphis. I know they hurting for work, boy. I picked up a phone. I just called the first number. I said, hey, when can y'all come out? I said, I come out right this second. I said, yeah, you can tell y'all about to go out of business. <laughs> well, they ain't going to go out of business because they're a service job. So, you know, technically, they don't. it don't cost them nothing to really operate, nothing and besides they probably sitting at the house chilling. So, you know, they not, them type of jobs don't go out of business. That's something to invest in. But uh, they already at the house. I ain't even there yet. He just called me here like, yeah, man, a fan is uh gone out in it but uh it's a 2019 model so he said he think it's under warranty so he finna call the warranty he finna call the, the maker of the ac unit and see if it's under warranty and if it is then i just pay for the label which is just 84 dollars but uh back to the story i don't know why i left off at but uh yeah man i popped the hood checked everything got in the truck got ready to start it and like i said it wasn't cranking man so first thing i do you know, I don't call the carry. I don't call TA. I call SoCal. I pick up the, yeah, SoCal. That's right. Say SoCal. Turn the key on. Hit the engine start button. No power. He said, well, do you got lights? I said, yeah, my lights on, my headlights on, you know, everything, all the lights working, radio working. He said, well, it's got to be a uh, connection problem somewhere. He told me to check the battery cable. So, you know, I check battery cables i don't i don't see nothing wrong with it. i get to shaking it you know he said take a picture i sent him a picture he said man your cables is uh corroded which you know it's probably still good but uh he he won't make them clean so uh you know but they was on that tight though so then he said go look at the starter go look at the wires for that so i go over to the starter and you know the uh the wires was was tight they was tight but i what i didn't realize was it was a wire i took a picture of it it was a wire that was uh, it had melted so it wasn't i i it was melted but it was the, the i guess the heat had melted it to another wire so when i shook it it didn't necessarily come loose even though it was melted off so it wasn't making no contact 
So, uh, you know, he told me it was a connection problem. So, you know, obviously we couldn't do nothing over the phone. So uh, we went on and got breakdown out there. And I don't know. The the, 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 replayer, the the people that came out, I think it was called Sergeant Wrecker. But, uh, man, that, that mechanic dude that came out, the mobile mechanic, man, he was awesome. Yeah, he was awesome. Dude came out and knew exactly what the fuck to do. The first thing he did... You know, unlike the mechanic out there in jail, New Mexico, the, I ain't even, we gonna call him out there. He ain't no mechanic out there. That's the technician. First thing he did was look at my fuel tank, see if I had fuel, and then he started priming. I said, damn, man, you know, I called the mobile mechanic out there in, uh, in jail, New Mexico, man, because I had, you know, my fuel field that clogged up like a year ago, and he ain't even do that at all. That wasn't even part of the process. So, uh, but yeah, that's the first thing he did. And then after that, he went to the batteries, checked the connection. And, uh, you know, at first he didn't, he didn't see the, uh, the ground on the frame was, uh, the bolt was loose. He didn't see that at first. He went over to the starter, got the voltmeter out and saw he was uh, losing power over there on the starter. So he said, yeah, you got a problem here somewhere. Uh, and I was telling him, you know, I've been having problems since I installed it. He said, I, I told him it may not be uh, connected correctly. So uh, I'm going to cut the video right here. Uh, I always cut my videos right in here because motherfuckers be trying to track down where the fuck I'm going and shit. That's why all my videos in right here. But uh, I guess we'll continue in the truck. Oh, by the way, somebody, when y'all ask me, is it Andrew, do you even work or you just always in the truck? Look, man, if you want to do all this shit, I told you, shit, you got to own the truck. Now, that's some free game for your ass. Man, ain't this about a bitch? I got some of that good little song voodoo put on my goddamn truck. Tell me why in the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm broke the fuck down. It's all a little shine fault. I know it is. This motherfucker probably been praying and praying and praying, praying and praying and praying that Andrew, you know what I'm saying, break down. And I think it's working. I think it's working. At least it worked, you know, temporarily today. Yeah, that's right. Andrew is broke the fuck down. Somewhat on the side of the road. But I'm in the parking lot. So it's not too bad, you know, not too bad. Truck park. You know, taking my 10 hour break, but I'm still broke down, you know. And uh, this is the type of breakdown that, yeah, you know, we gotta call out a mechanic. We must call out a mechanic, you know, because these type of breakdowns, when they break down, it usually results in a, uh, either in a tow truck or either a uh, mobile mechanic coming out. Usually a tow truck, though, but. In this case, I'm not, I don't turn my truck off unless I'm parked somewhere where I'm not, uh, you know, obstructing traffic. So, like, I don't turn my truck off in the fuel island because I didn't hear the starter go out in the fuel island. I don't turn my truck off getting loaded or unloaded. But uh, unless I have to, then, you know, I just pray it start back up. <laughs> but, uh, man, I said uh, I'm on my 10 hour break. It's daytime. And uh, I was going to be fucking money, but uh, shit, I was still here getting unloaded. So I didn't want to keep him waiting. So, uh, hell, I parked over here at the shipper. Shipper said I can go around back and park. So I came around back. I said, well, you know, let me check my oil. Turn my truck off to check the oil. And uh, <laughs> oil was good. Got back in the truck. Oh, okay, that's not going. Got back in the truck. And um, well, let me show you what it's doing. It's a good little Sean Voodoo. All right, little Sean, let's see what the hell you didn't put on my truck now. Turn the key. Powers. Power come on. 13 volts. You know, no engine lights and nothing like that. But when I go to press the button, that right there happened. Circuit breaker come on. Everything resets. So, that right there is a connection problem or a starter problem somewhere. And you know I'm not an electrician, so I have no idea how to troubleshoot that. So I go SoCal.
called SoCal, and uh, we tried to troubleshoot it, but uh, like I said, it's a battery, I mean, it's a connection problem, so it's not much we could do over the phone. Uh, all my lights work, headlights and stuff come on, you know, I got this uh, beam panel out there, so when I hit that, y'all see it's lit up right there, so radio come on, no copyright. So I got power, so my batteries are not dead. So that 13 volts can't be the alternator. Definitely a uh, connection problem, man. You know, Andrew has finally broke down for the second time in flat top history. Y'all know the first time I broke down was, uh, what was it, like two years ago, or a year ago in the oil field when my fuel field took clogged up. Uh, basically, I just got fuel. I don't know if I... It was from a mom and pop truck stop, so I guess it was dirty fuel. But uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't. Hello, Sean. You got me today, boy. You must have been doing all the praying in the world, huh? That's all right. That's all right. And Andrew still going to be in business tomorrow. And I just got unloaded, too. So, But, uh, yeah, my fuel filter. So this is clogged up. And, uh, of course, a mobile mechanic came out and checked everything but the fuel filter. Cost me about $800. Left me on the side of the road. Just took the check and ran. But, uh, basically, you know, a truck driver, Dominica, came out there, unscrewed this. When they got another one from Napa, put it back on, primed it. Truck started right up. I said, man, I should kill that mobile mechanic. <laughs> but, uh... Engine is fine though. It's not. It's never an engine problem, right? Anytime engines broke down, it's never an engine problem, right? Funny how that works out. But been checking my cables. I don't have a voltage meter on me, so I can't check the alternator. But uh, been checking all the cables, power connection cables, to uh, see if we got a short somewhere. And uh, yeah, I know I just put this alternator on, but this is a used alternator. I got this when I broke down in San Antonio. My mechanic gave me that for 150, but uh, I, that's, I don't even think that's the problem because, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the uh, voltage or the batteries. So, as y'all can see, the headlights are on. I need to go turn them off. As y'all can see, the headlights are on. Hang on. Lights are on. So, the starting stuff is brand new. Oh, that's brand new up in there. I don't know if it's wired correctly, but uh, it's nothing loose. So I, you know, came under here, started shaking all the wires and stuff. Nothing is loose. But uh, what one thing I will say is, ever since we put this starter on, I told y'all I've been having starter issues ever since I put this starter on. And I do got the old starter on me. It's underneath my bunk. So if we gotta switch that out, um, I already got the starter on me. Not saying that that's the problem, but you know, it could be that cylinder, it could be a problem. But, um, like I said, ever since we put that on, I've been having started issues and I've been trying to figure out why on earth I'm having started issues. In fact, I thought I had nailed it down to, um, I thought I nailed it down to the actual starter button itself. Let me go back up to the batteries. Yeah, I know I just got four brand new batteries put on. But like SoCal said, I didn't replace the cable, so it's all corroded and shit. Yeah, I know I didn't know no better. So, uh, yeah, I need new cables. And I also noticed over here is burnt. This is my ECM ground wire right here, this white wire. That's the ground wire for the truck. So if this is unplugged, the truck ain't even going to no have no power, but it's connected. But I don't know why the fuck it's burnt. I just noticed that, so... Uh, as you can see, we got corrosion there. Yeah, we got rust, but all the cables are sort of tight. And, um, you know, I followed the black wire. It's connected here. Where red one coming out of here goes up back through there. You know, these right here, this is my um, power inverter. I don't know if y'all know I got a power inverter underneath the bunk. So that's turned off right now. That's turned off. But, like I said, I was, uh, I was having issues, so 
you gotta watch my YouTube stories. I had just bought a new starter button, a new engine start button, because I thought my problem may be in the button itself. So I got a new button, but I ain't installed it yet. You know, it's right here in the box. I just got it yesterday. But uh, like I said, when I turn the key, voltage meter go up to 13. You know, lights, radio, everything working. Turn lights back off. But when I press the engine start button, that right there happened. And obviously I have no idea when it comes to electricity or electrical problems or uh, what that could be. Don't think it's the oxidator, don't think it's the batteries. I really don't think it's a starter. I think something is probably loose. Truck was running fine up until I turned it off and then obviously that happened. Um, the mechanics think the clicking sound could be the start over there. And like I said, that start has been giving me issues since day one. Not saying that's the problem. I don't know. But uh, if we need to uh, change out the starter, like I said, the old one is uh, already with me. And that start is under warranty. It's only like three months old. But, yep, get that uh, good little Sean Voodoo put on me today. I know he's uh, watching this video. Celebrating? Celebrating? No, I was just <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the ills, all the ills today. Let me flip the camera back around. Yep, so this is the second time in flat top history I have been broke down. Obviously, the first time was in jail, New Mexico, in the oil field when my fuel field declawed up. You know, if you even want to call that a breakdown, I guess, you know, if you want to call this a breakdown, I guess maybe, I guess it's a breakdown. I'm, truck won't start i guess it's a breakdown you know i gotta call the mobile mechanic gotta hit the car one last time so i guess it's a breakdown i call breakdown so <laughs> but uh it's not it's not engine related whatsoever it never is engine related the engine is has always been real good on these mercedes on this mercedes i don't know about all the rest of them my mercedes is damn good but um something about this connection i don't know i don't know and I'm thinking y'all watching this video know what the hell the problem is. But I don't know. I don't know. But everything in here is working good up. You know, I don't got nothing to scrape the uh, battery cables back down. I bought wire brushes, but I guess I don't know what the hell I deal with them. Oh, I know what I deal with them. I know what I deal with them. I thought them wire brushes was to remove the decals off the truck like a dumbass. So I ended up giving them away. Cause I thought I could take them wire. I didn't know they was wire. I thought they was like soft brushes. I thought I was gonna like scrape the shit off. Nah, nah, they was metal wires. I remember that I gave them away. I didn't put them underneath the bunk. They was in here, but somebody asking they have them. I said, yeah, I thought they was for removing decals. Cause I was looking for fast ways to remove decals. So like when I get fired, I could like pull right in front of uh, the Sun Tiger ass, get out and just start <laughs> straight like, you know, right in front of you. <laughs> oh, just got unloaded too, man. I'm um, still right here at the co-signing. Like I'm broke down at the co-signing, see? This is the co-signing. Just got unloaded and uh, uh, I was already on my 10-hour break. I already set for four hours over there, so I said, well, shit, the way this e-log work is, I can't go no more than five miles per hour. It's going to uh, start my clock. So I said, uh, hey, man, you know, can I uh, sleep here? He said, oh, yeah, no problem. Just go on the other side of the building where the truck's parked. So I came over here. I said, well, you know, let me check my oil, make sure everything is good, pop the hood. Got, you know, I turned the truck off to check the oil, let it sit for a minute. Check the oil, oil was good. And um, got ready to start the truck back up. And I said, yeah, little Sean been praying. He been 
He been doing some praying, you know, but uh, it ain't gonna work because uh, obviously the truck's still gonna. By the time you see this video, I'll be at the fucking house probably uh, on the way to the house. But uh, I'll be at the house because I gotta edit the video, put all the clips together, so I will be at the house. But uh, second breakdown. Hmm. You know, I like older trucks because not too many breakdowns with older trucks. You know, and I'm in Dallas, Texas, by the way, so there's plenty of mechanics over. Well, I'm not in Dallas. I'm in Fort Worth, but same thing pretty much. But uh, why did I turn the truck off? If I didn't turn the truck off, I would have ran the AC, been at the house, then it would have been broke down at the mechanic shop. Well, I parked my, par my truck at a mechanic shop, so it would have been broke down now. And I would have been like, hey, truck broke down. Come in, it's ready. <laughs> Not has going today. Now, now it's um, yep, they from to uh, get the lube ready. They from to get the lube ready because, uh, you know, oh, it's a, it's a what kind of problem? Connection problem? They is not going to find out. You, you know they're going to take a couple of hours to figure it out because they get paid by the hours. So they, they definitely from to get the lube ready. But uh, SoCal told me first to uh, get a jump start. See if that works. Um, he said jump it from a cylinder though. Instead of the battery. He said, no, he said try it from the batteries first. If that don't work, try it from the cylinder. And uh, obviously they got to, uh, if they got a voltage meter, hide them test that out. So, um, um, uh, Interesting, interesting. I don't know what it could be. Hopefully they figure out the problem, because like I said, I, I was having start issues before it just all of a sudden I started up. So uh, that's the whole reason I bought this starter button, because I was like, well, maybe it's in the start button, and if it is, then hey, there's the button right there. And if it's the starter, hey, I got a starter. You know, it's not the battery, so that's chilling. If it's an alternator, okay, you win. Okay, you in. If it's the alternator, I'll just Uber to go get one. Nah, you know, you stay here. I'm going to go Uber. We in Fort Worth. I'm going to go Uber. I'm going to go get one from uh, uh, Napa or Freightliner or uh, Vans Auto Parts or O'Reilly's. You just wait your ass right here. Uh, you know, because you're not going to charge me delivery and fee and all that shit. Do I get the Andrew Jackson discount? Do I get the Andrew Jackson discount? No, I don't. Andrew Jackson discount, but if y'all know anything about hazmat carriers, you can't be broke down with hazmat, so of course the hazmat carriers is going to send somebody ASAP to get you back rolling instantly, so, uh, you know, usually I don't like calling no type of mobile mechanic, but, you know, if it's something I can't figure out, like, like that fuel field to being clogged up, that's not something I can figure out, I don't even know how Dominique figured that shit out. Uh, well, he's a mechanic, so that's why he figured this shit out. But uh, battery connection? Oh, man, I have no idea. Electricity? I have no idea. I, I don't know. I don't even know where to begin to look. I don't got no voltage meter. I know some of y'all looking, you're probably mad as fuck. you like, Andrew, why? get the fuck out the truck. I know, I know how y'all. <laughs> look, man, I've been out the truck for two hours now, okay? I just started the video. You don't think? I've been out the truck, okay? Calm down, okay? I've been out the truck. I took pictures and talked to SoCal and I talked to uh Joshua Lanquito. He uh his water pump went out just now too, so he on the side of the road. Uh nah, I think he he, he had to get a record. He said he had to get a record. His water pump went out. Um am I gonna have to get a record? We not getting no records. We not that's not a uh, older oh, truck don't be on no record. We do the wrecking around this motherfucker. We we do the wrecking that's right. The older trucks are the ones you know what I'm saying? They go pick up the newer trucks, put them bitches on the back, and no, nah. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Ah. I'm just talking shit. Where in the fuck am I at? You know what? Fuck you, money. Still want to go out, man? It's not a bad time, man. You say you want to do what? Eat dinner or something? Not a bad time at all, man. I should have uh, just told you to come on this way. Yeah, we definitely could have. I could have been at dinner. Somebody else could have been figuring this shit out. You know, I don't know. Definitely wouldn't have been a bad time. Uh, I gave that place a call too. I gave him my uh, my 
VIN number and my uh, engine serial number. Did they test me back? I don't know, test message. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't see because I'm on camera. But um, yeah, man, that's the situation. Y'all finally get to see a real breakdown from Andrew Jackson. Don't know how it's going to end. But like I was saying, when you haul in hazmat. Anytime you break down the hazmat carriers, they can't they can't have the hazmat sitting on the side of the road. I mean, on the side of the road. Uh, even though I'm not on the side of the road, I'm in a parking lot. Completely fine. I can just sit here forever. But when you're hauling hazmat, they get people out here ASAP. Like ASAP. Like you know, you know how that works. We we'll just take it out to check, but we're gonna get that truck moved. You know, that's how they operate. That's how he operates. The problem is, you know, see, if I, when I have to call a mobile mechanic, I like to let them know what the fuck to do, you know, but, like, if I need, if I knew, if I knew for a fact it was a starter, ah, now the phone want to overheat. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch. Gotta get a new phone. I'll be back with a no. All right, guys, that's the main problem. This is the main power wire that powers everything. As you can see, it's broke. 